tip. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Now, quick tip videos are designed to focus in like a laser beam on one thing in a program. This way you don't have to wade through long tutorials that drone on and on to get to that nugget, that thing you've been struggling with. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. A clipping mask is a shape called a clipping path that masks any object below it. So only what's inside of the clipping path is visible. You can use text, a shape, or a compound shape, otherwise known as a compound path, to mask out any kind of artwork like a photo. And the beautiful thing is the mask itself is still editable, meaning you could modify the copy if you wanted to, or move the photo if you want to. So I'm going to start with text and then I'm going to show you how you can use a shape and then a compound shape or path to make a mask in Illustrator. So to begin with, I'm going to break this mask first. So first I'm going to show you how you can break your mask and then how you can make your mask. So to release your clippy mask, you come to Object, Clipping Mask, Release. And you can see here that I'm left with a photo and text on top. Historically, in Illustrator, you used to have to outline the text by coming to Type, Create Outlines, but no longer. You can keep the text editable. Here, I'll bring it back to the word Mask. When making a mask, you want to make sure that you cover the full area. So here, I would want to make sure the text is on top of the photo and that the photo doesn't get cut off. All right, to make a mask, here's what you do. You select your text and you select your photo. Your photo that you import has to be behind. So you could send it to back by hitting Command or Control Shift left bracket. Then, once it's behind the text, you select both by just clicking and dragging over both or clicking the text, shift clicking your photo. And then Command or Control 7 or Object Clipping Mask Make. So now you can see that it automatically masked out the photo so it only appears within the area of the text. I can move the text and look what happens when I do the photo underneath it runs out. So you always want to make sure that you have that coverage. So no longer do you need to keep the text outlined and you can still edit it. If you are going to mask text, you want to make sure that the weight of the font is fairly thick. Next, I'll show you how to do a clipping mask in Illustrator with a shape. First, you have to get a shape. Here I'm going to take my ellipse tool, make a perfect circle by holding down the shift key. It actually doesn't matter what color the shape is because when you shift click the photo that's behind it and then do command or control seven, the mask will allow the photo to come through and not the color of your shape. So once again, that was object, clipping mask, make. And then to break your clipping mask, once again, option or all, command or control seven to release. And lastly, I'll show you how you can make a mask from a compound path. So here, I'm gonna make my ellipse again, but this time starting from the center, I can hold down the Alt or Option key plus Shift and drag out from the center to make a circle. And I'll do the same up here. To have these be all the same, I'll just Option drag all of these circles. If I were to batch select all of these shapes I've made just by holding the shift key down and clicking on the shapes. And then if I were to select my background, shift click 
the photo in the background to make a mask with Command or Control 7, you see here we were only able to make the mask from the one shape. Control or Command Z that to undo it, you'll see that you have to make a compound path of this shape first. So to do that, you select all of the individual shapes and then come to Object Compound Path Make or Command or Control 8. Now that it's a compound path, it will act as one so that when I shift click the photo, then perform my mask, it masks out the photo as one big compound path. So that's how you make a mask in Illustrator with text, shapes, and compound paths. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.